Now, your KRBC Storm Team forecast with meteorologist Grant Tosterud. Well, it's looking a little spooky out there this morning for the start of our Halloween and some cloud covers made its way in overnight. You can see the city lights reflecting off of it out there this morning, even watching some rain and thunderstorms start to move their way in. It's cold to get you out the door 58 here in Abilene under that blanket of cloud cover. There's that rain and thunderstorm starting to push into the western big country. We'll watch this line continue to push off to the east as we head through the morning. Right now, the storm is moving in through Mitchell County up towards Scurry County, now just north of Sweetwater into Fisher County. This line is going to continue to push off to the east again as we head through the morning hours. Dangerous lightning is going to be the biggest threat with this, but we are under a chance for severe weather this morning and into the afternoon. Most of the big country under this marginal risk for severe weather. That's that shade of green right here. That's a one on a scale of zero to five. Again, the biggest threats today going to be some large hail that could be quarter size, if not larger. Some gusty winds with that line of storms as it pushes its way in and some dangerous lightning. Could also see some brief heavy downpours that could pours that could lead to areas of localized flooding this morning as well. Now, as we head through the morning, there's 7 o'clock. It's actually underdoing the rain and thunderstorms a little bit. Those storms actually getting their act together a little bit earlier than what it's looking like on here. But as we head towards your afternoon hours, again, could still be dealing with that potential for some severe weather. Those same hazards I just mentioned, but it's covering a very large area of the big country. The storms will continue to push off to the east as we head into this evening. Could be left with a few isolated showers, maybe even a few claps of thunder out there as we head into the evening hours. And for you trick or treaters tonight, keep that umbrella handy just to be on the safe side. Might run into a couple areas of isolated showers out there overnight. But as we head into the early morning hours of Thursday, most of that rain should start to taper off by the early morning hours tomorrow. We could still be left with just a couple isolated showers out there. And we could be looking at some heavy rainfall in a couple areas. This has really bumped up those rain totals since the last month model run anywhere from half an inch to up to an inch of rain it may still be possible. I think is going to be the best bet with higher than an inch amounts in isolated locations. Temperatures will be falling all afternoon, falling into the low 50s as we head into this evening here in Abilene. Could even see some lower 40s off into the western portions of our area for those trick or treaters tonight. Air temperature is going to be in the upper 40s with a breezy northerly wind. It's going to feel more like the 30s out there, so you'll want to bundle up for sure if you're out trick or treating and grab that umbrella just to be on the safe side. A couple isolated showers can be ruled out. That rain should start to taper off by the early morning hours of tomorrow. Still remaining cloudy overnight. Temperatures falling into the mid and lower 40s to start our Thursday, so it's going to be a cold one out there, but we'll be back into the 60s by tomorrow afternoon as we hang on to sunny and dry conditions the rest of this week. 70s again by Saturday as a couple weak cold fronts are going to move in Sunday morning and Monday night. And it's going to keep our temperatures bouncing back and forth between the 60s and 70s. All right, I will say that Skycam certainly looks spooky.